Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and cover the guacamoles today. We're going to cover the lovely, lovely guacamole. As you notice, it beats everything. So yeah, you got meter. No, I'm sorry, if El Fuerte has meter, don't fuck with them. Don't go in the air. You're going to get hit with guacamole. Now, guacamole, you do it by doing light punch with dragon punch. I'm sorry, dragon punch with kick. That right, DP motion with light punch. Oh God. You do DP motion with light kick, do a medium kick, and you do a hard kick. You can also do it with the X. Oh boy. There we go. EX. Yay. Anyway, the move does 120, 130, 140 damage, and 180 damage with EX. You do 100 stun with all of them, 200 with EX. Move is very, very useful, as I just showed you earlier, for beating things that are invincible in the air, because it has even more invincibility, and to bring people down when they are recklessly jumping around. You don't want They don't want to be recklessly jumping. Now, what does that mean? When they're recklessly jumping, you need to bring them the hell down with EX Guacamole. They need to stop jumping, because once they stop jumping, then you can do the rest of your mix-up game and the rest of your other lovely little setups with the other various moves that he has in his arsenal. Now, another little setup you can do, for example, you know, you can, for example, bring him down. They can jump, right? Bring him down. Oh, I jump him. I'm gonna super right past him because I'm an idiot. Anyway, let me stop trying to show off and come up with things, you know, randomly because that's not what we're doing here. We're trying to show you things that we're supposed to be doing. Anyway, let's move on. Guacamole, as I mentioned, you can use it to bring them down when they're in the air and you want to use it to beat out certain things. Uh, you saw me clearly beating Dragon Punch, EX Dragon Punch, and his Ultras too. Now, ways to do it would be, for example, you're running at them, you do a back step, and then you go ahead and you buffer your guacamole. Be careful that you don't do the guacamole in a psychic fashion because unlike Dragon Punches, you can't FADC out of it, okay? It does not have any hitting portion for grounded opponents. If you notice, it actually is two hits, to be honest with you. It doesn't show it, but it is. Because first he catches them in the air, then he brings them down. That hit portion doesn't do anything. That's why there are times when you will see the guacamole trade. The guacamole trade glitch, obviously, um, is still in this game. And it is a bad thing because it means that certain normals or certain specials will cause El Forte to trade with his guacamole. What happens is El Forte gets hit out and he'll fly off like he got hit with a normal move in the air and the opponent will basically teleport into the ground. The opponent will not take any damage, you will. So, what does that mean? You gotta know which moves beat the guacamole in that respect and then of course you'll know when to EX guacamole and beat it anyway. Moving on, those are the uses for the guacamole that are on the obvious side. Let's cover something that's a little less than obvious for some people. Let's go ahead and leave the uh, super combo gauge at a point where it won't fill up automatically. Using it from full screen, it's a good idea to go ahead and use the light guacamole to build meter. Now, Another nerf that, and the, another bad thing that the guacamole has, it's its recovery. You'll see him stand there like an idiot for a little bit of time after a EX guacamole. He'll do the same thing for a light one, he'll do the same thing for a medium one, and he'll do the same thing for a hard one. Now, it's unfortunate. So what that means is that you can, even though you can still use the light guacamole for building meter from far distance because it's pretty much safe, you do not want to recklessly psychic guacamole because as I mentioned earlier, you cannot FADC it. It does have that glitch where certain things beat it. And the recovery means that you can get punished for being reckless with it. The same goes for EX Guacamole. Now, you can still use EX Guacamole as an escape tool because it does go a decent distance. Now, what does that mean? Use it when you know the opponent is doing something that has sufficient recovery to allow you to not only execute the move, but land far enough away from him to get the hell away from them, okay? And yeah, I forgot I don't have a meter, which is I'm trying to do, you know, EX guacamole. Somebody's not paying attention today. Anyway, let's keep going. The other nice little tidbit 
about guacamole, as I mentioned, is you can actually do a few setups with it. So once you go ahead and get a knock done or whatever, things like that. But anyway, that's risky. That's shenanigans. We're not covering shenanigans. We're only going to cover solid things. Okay, so that covers all of his special moves. Next, we're going to cover his super. Okay, super is done by doing quarter circle forward with twice. I'm sorry, with kick. Depending on which version, that's the light version. This is the medium version. And then obviously the hard version is going to reach also. Okay, that's the difference. There is no damage difference. The only dif difference is how far he goes. So remember that when you want to do certain things so that you can make sure that you reach. There are some instances where the move will not will not reach because you did the wrong version. Now, there's also times when the where certain moves will miss. For example, you do the medium kick, I believe at max distance, you have to do the hard kick version. What happens? You should be able to combo it. I don't know why I dropped it. But anyway, there are some times where the where a certain hit will miss, but you'll still land the combo. So take that to training mode, figure it out for yourself. Anyway, that's the main use of the super is for example for some burst damage, as some people like to call it. There are some times when you want to go ahead and actually go for it. But personally, I don't think it's a good idea to really want to use super that often. A good time to use it is, for example, when, you know, you need to start, you know, making a bit of a comeback. And my execution is horrible today. Again, what is wrong with me? Anyway, you want to use it basically for dealing damage, obviously. But I think that you would be better off holding on to it. Because we have EX Run which is for defense or for offense. We have ES Guacamole also for defense or for offense. So those are the two moves where you that you will primarily be using meter for. Very, very rare for me personally to have a full meter unless I'm either like successfully turtling and running away from an opponent and building meter or if the opponent just really doesn't know what the hell they're doing and I don't really need any meter. So keep that in mind. If you're fighting a person who really does know what they're doing, it's not very likely that you're going to have full super bar. So the best time to do it is when you know that this controller sucks. Uh, is when you know the super is going to finish them, okay? That's about it. That covers that, and I'm gonna quit mashing because obviously my execution isn't very good today. So that covers his super. There is a slight touch of invincibility at the very beginning. I had had fireballs at point blank miss, but that's not something you want to rely on. Don't try to do that for tricks to blow past something, anything like that. Don't do, you know, try, don't try to do any gimmicks. Main point, you can combo it off of any special cancelable normal. You can do it for off of a jump in for free. Hey, look, I finally got something right execution wise today. Go me. And that's pretty much it for super only use it in the situations where that means you know you're going to finish off the opponent for the match or if you're really desperate for you know for a round that you really need just to be able to survive okay that's really much it otherwise you're better off conserving your meter for super last but not least we are going to cover the ultras we have two different ultras we have the ultra one which is the flying giga buster think of it as alex from Street Fighter 3 his stun gun headbutt that's basically how this move works, except that you have to land on top of them. The move can be controlled distance-wise. You can hold it back, you can hold it forward, you can leave it be. It'll change its distance. It does have the amount of recovery if you whiff, so be careful. Now, what's it you good for? Say, for example, you're fighting a opponent and he wants to go ahead and jump in poorly. Right? He wants to jump in poorly. He wants to be stupid. I want to drop kick instead. Guacamole. Anyway, you want to use it basically as an anti-air. All right, plain and simple. Done properly, you can use it as an anti-air. Obviously, my execution is crappy. I'm not going to waste your time. The Ultra One is basically to be used 
as an anti-air. Okay? Don't throw it out there like an idiot. Or mash it out like I'm doing because then you'll get EX guacamole instead. So, me and my crappy execution today is at least serving a purpose. Please do not mash, okay? And please don't use a PS3 pad because the PS3 pad sucks ass. So, don't mash because if you mash, you're not going to get the move. There I did it nice and calm. Came out without an issue. So, you have plenty of time in this game to do the moves, okay? I'm just trying too hard right now to do everything properly. Anyway, besides that, yep, it's not even it's not even that funny. Okay, yes it is. It actually, it's pretty funny how bad I'm in the move and nothing happens. Woohoo. Anyway, moving on. Yes, PS3 pads suck. That's basically the main use for the Ultra One. You can combo it off of a focus attack. Okay? It's the only instance where you're going to be able to combo it. It does have invincibility on the way up. And as I mentioned, you want to use it as an anti-air. Be careful though, okay? In the basis of Ultra Selection, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Ultra 2 in the meantime while I'm telling you this. On the basis of Ultra Selection, right? You want, you know, Ultra 1 is is very useful against opponents who cannot change their, their uh, trajectory in the air. Now, Evil Ryu, for example, he can do an EX Hurricane Kick or, you know, uh, Goken or Akuma. Uh, Guy, for example, he can drop from his jump by holding down and pressing a medium punch or any punch button for that matter. Crimson Viper can alternate her jump trajectory by doing a burn kick in the air. Things like that. So if they can change their trajectory in the air, I sincerely do not recommend you using Ultra 1. Now, of course, hey, if you can bait them into doing things that, you know, negate their air jump, their changing their trajectory, by all means, go for it. But ultimately, I recommend you stick with Ultra 2, Ultra Spark, if they're capable of changing their air trajectory. Moving on, let's go ahead and go into the Ultra 2. Ultra 2, L4 Ultra Spark. It was nerfed going into uh, Arcade Edition. It did too too much damage for the developer's taste. And they also slowed it down from a 3-frame startup to a 4-frame startup. Now, you can still do what's called Armor Cancel. Uh, I, I suck, so I can't do that. So I'm going to you know post a link on the description so that you can see how the Armor Cancel works. If you look up videos of Spabrog, you will frequently see him utilize the Armor Cancel Ultra to great effect. Moving on, the Ultra Spark is done by doing half circle, um, quarter circle back twice with all three kick. I didn't mention it earlier, Flying Giga Buster is done by quarter circle forward twice with all three kick. Now, what's good about the Ultra Spark? Ultra Spark can also be comboed into from Focus Tech. The Ultra Spark and the Falling Giga Buster are both command grabs. Now, what's it good for? It does have some invincibility at the end. I'm sorry, at the beginning of it. Here is a common example of a good time to use the Ultra Spark. We're going to use Evil Ryu. Hopefully, I don't mash and look like a moron. So, what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and sweep a Forte. And then we're going to go ahead and throw out a meaty medium kick, right? Go ahead and play it back. Okay, I did it bad there. Let's try it again. Did it okay. I dropped it twice. There we go. If you read a poke from an opponent, right? If you read a poke, punish it. That'll show. In any case, that's the main use for the Ultra Spark. You can use it as a punishing tool. If an opponent throws something out there poorly, Please do feel free to do it. I believe the motion for armor cancel ultra. Uh, I can't. I can't do it because I'm also on a pad and because my execution is terrible. But you do quarter circle back twice, right? And then you press two punches and all three kicks. You will do an armor cancel ultra. El Forte will start his animation for an EX run. He will not use meter. And then the next thing you know, out comes the ultra. That is extremely dangerous because you can use that to, you know, punish them for doing anything stupid. For example, a bad jump in. 
It also helps with timing the actual anti-air from what I've seen because it makes it easier to do because, hey, you catch, you know, the screen kind of freezes when you get that, you know, when the armor hit happens, etc. So that's basically what you want to use it for. You can still anti-air with the Ultra Spark, but it's not as easy as the Flying Giga Buster. Basically, you want to use the Flying Giga Buster against people who like to jump a lot and who cannot change their trajectory in the air. And you want to use the Ultra Spark specifically to punish things that have a high amount of recovery. Please, guys, do not mash it. They nerfed the startup specifically also to prevent L4 from being able to recklessly mash it. It used to be three frames, like I mentioned earlier, which basically made it like a, you know, get off me move. But if they're in the air, they're going to avoid it. That said, again, it's a command grab. It cannot be blocked. It cannot be focused. And the only way to combo into it is from a focus attack. So that basically covers everything as far as the specials. His super and his two ultras. Again, please guys, don't mash. I've had instances where I've mashed so horribly that when I went for Ultra Spark, I got an EX Guacamole. Please do not mash. And uh, yeah, practice constantly so you don't look an idiot when you're trying to make videos like I am. That covers everything for his ultras, his super, and his specials. Like I said, go into training mode and get it done properly. Oh, by the way, when you do that, that taunt right there, you can go under fireballs. Have fun.